When I see the word esports, what game comes to mind? Rocket League? Counter-Strike? League of Legends? Well, forget everything you know. Today we're not talking about the popular, but the weird and quirky as we explore five weird esports titles that will leave you thinking, huh? Ubisoft's motion-based music game is a great casual party game for you and your friends to dance away to your favourite songs. But for those more serious about their moves, turns out you're not alone. There have been many competitions, both small and large, over the years, such as Just Dance showdowns at the Insomnia Gaming Festival or the Just Dance World Cup that ran from 2014 to 2020. But to top it all off, this year Just Dance has fully stepped into the spotlight, with its inclusion in the inaugural Olympic eSports series, which saw Frenchwoman the Fairy Dina claim first place. Call me when Beat Saber comes to the Olympics. Maybe then I'll have a shot. Browser-based game GeoGuessr drops you into a random place anywhere in the world using Google Street View, the challenge being that you must try to guess where in the world that place is in as little time as possible. While GeoGuessr has gained popularity as a casual game for individuals to test their geographical knowledge and observation skills, it might surprise you to learn that there are some very skilled players who can tell you where in the world they are right down to the province or street despite very little clues. This October, 24 of the best players from around the world will compete in the first GeoGuessr World Cup with a prize pool of $50,000. And here I am, unable to leave my own home without a sat-nav. In 2013, DreamWorks released Turbo, a kid's film about an ordinary garden snail who pursues his dream of winning the Indy 500. Alongside the film, racing game Turbo Racing League was released for phones and tablets. Doesn't sound too special, does it? Well, I haven't even got started yet. Bizarrely, US mobile network Verizon announced that they would be hosting a shell-out contest, with a whopping $1 million prize pool up for grabs. For 10 weeks, players competed to claim $25,000 and a spot in the grand final, which ended with 19-year-old Brian Dragotto earning first place overall and taking home a total of $290,000. What mobile game do you think you could win some prize money in? Let us know in the comments below. Have you ever asked yourself, could farming ever be done competitively? Or perhaps, could a game about driving farm equipment ever be considered an esports title? If so, then Farming Simulator developer Giant Software have an answer for you. Yes! What began as a simple hay bale stacking competition has since grown into the Farming Simulator League, where teams of three compete to harvest crops, bale them, and then transport bales to certain points on the map where points are awarded. Most teams in the leagues aren't your traditional esports teams, but are teams fielded by agricultural manufacturers. Last year's Farming Simulator League World Championship took place in November and saw teams compete for their share of a 40,000 euro prize pool. I imagine the virtual world of Farming Simulator is certainly a lot cleaner than real farming. You'd be forgiven if you thought we were talking about Excel esports, but we're actually talking about everyone's favourite spreadsheet software, Microsoft Excel. The Financial Modelling World Cup is an annual competition that began in September 2020, with Excel pros from around the world showcasing their financial modelling skills to answer questions surrounding case studies. The 2022 edition of the World Cup had a generous prize pool of $25,000, with Lawrence Lau from the United States earning first place. Let's not forget the added commentators and the fancy livestream. Well, I certainly learned a lot this video, and I hope you did too. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell to catch up with all the latest releases. Do we miss any unique games? Why not let us know in the comments down below.